So let's save the riddle. I think though we had some supplies around here. you gain levels not that long but somewhat can do what is it hmm. I didn't go there already as you right, wish so let's do this first I'll see what I can find maybe there's some more Things to find here. The red brown smears flake away under the toe of your boot. Oh, a spirit. The nearby crystals light the cracked mosaic floor in shades of orange, and a certain angle, the metallic symbol beneath your feet, gleams gold. As you look on, the air shimmers as if it's summer heat. The very dust and air seem to pull together until a thin, glowing mist appears before you. In its rippling gleam, you sometimes think you can see the shape of a man, features rendered in broad strokes of air and smoke. Uh. Who are you? Your voice sparks movement, the spirit surges with a sudden blazing light, and in the next moment you are somewhere else. Your mind is sailed with a sudden wave of fear and noise. You are in the chapter hall. Priests and faithful have gathered in a great crowd, spilling into the hall. Bodies press against you, surging forward to listen. Your own grief is mirrored in the faces around you. Some of the initiates are weeping. Someone has snuffed the candles, and the room is dark, save for the podium. Lit from behind, two people stand before it, lit in silhouettes. A man is shouting, voice so wrecked with fear you cannot understand what he says. The Rectrix stands calm, unmoved. A strength will see you all through these dark times. You feel that hope like a spark behind your ribs. Somewhere behind you, someone begins to sing. The spirit tears itself from you with sudden dizzying force and you find yourself back before the ruined altar swaying. It fades suddenly as it appeared. Seems he had hope, and seems that hope. Um, Steady does it. Didn't help. All right. Face of this statue had m most of his features struck off, along with portions of his hands. Right, it was desecrated here, too. Not only destroyed, but desecrated. So let's go to the to the tolls now. No. Don't wanna rest straight. So the information we have is Strike the big bell second, and the right hand bell first and last. What is it? So, we will ring the right bell. Then the middle bell. Then the left bell. Then the right bell. The peculiar chime rings through the ruins. There's a quiet, melodic chime from all three bells before the discordant voices meet in one powerful, rising rush of sound. It seems to fill the whole of the temple, a driving flood of song that drowns all other thought. The tolling fades, you hear a creak from the direction of the doors as the passage to the lower level swings open. Yeah, well, that was a straightforward well. riddle. I've ever he seen does one. It. Hmm. Let's sneak down. Uh. 
Well, let's first explore the ground level here. I think. Oh, yeah. That's the way back to. We have no choice. To do that. Shadow. Hi there, Shadow. <laughs> Attack! You strike a shadow down? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. <laughs> you can kill a shadow, as it seems. Well, Ugh, and he does like some kind of life damage. I'll see what I can find. Oh, let's not open any doors yet. Or maybe. Let's go here first. Why not? Just say the word. What is it? You go first. What is it? Oof, more shadows. Ah! What's this? Oh, we can try that at least. And you know to make an arcane assault here. No. That would hurt us as well. But I think I want that combusting wounds. Well, let's hope this way is done then. You go into a frenzy. <laughs> Immune to that. like we've attacked the wrong opponents, huh? <laughs> ha! We've killed one of them. The second one's going to follow soon, I hope. Well, Tragically, Xylund is down. But we're in good spirits. So. Nice. Take that, Shadows. Yes. Spirit residue. Well? I'll go on ahead. Hmm? And... How may I help? Yes. You should try to open this. Yeah, I thought something like that. A trap. What is it? To talk with this? Well, I'll see it done. Huh? I've got it. Open it up. Nice. A fine greatsword. Ah, that's good. Yes. It's yours now. Property is fine. Accuracy and plus percent damage. Now oh, that is something. Yes. Uh, I think we're still good to go. As you wish. They won't see me coming. Come here, Shadow. Huh. 
What is it? I'll go on ahead. As you wish. Creepy a bit, I guess. Hmm. Let's leave this door closed until now. To go back there now and rest somewhere. Welcome, come single. Yes. Steady does it. That's a good tactic. We have been there yet, I think. Whoa. A shadow. Run. Hi. Kill him. Yes. I shall be discreet. Something more here. Oh, I think I want to rest first. Just say the word. What is it? <sighs> Oof. Uh, phantoms, all right. I want you to move back mm -hmm. a bit. All the others. Just attack. Until these... Just say the word. Now, let's attack that phantom, shall we? Oh no. Let's attack... ...this thing. Also, Aloth attack that thing. You two attack that one. Are you three? Yes. Lava. a bit, I think. Oh god, Eloth is down. Need to kill the shadow first, I think. the hell? That isn't like pretty. Still that damn shadow here.
right. I need to kill that thing here and want Gon's pledge. Huh? Damn it. Would have changed. I want some minor regeneration, I think. Also, attack the phantom. Come on, attack the damn phantom. Kill them all! More potions. More guns, pledge. Kill the damn phantom, man. Oh god. Woo. Well, just say the word. What is it? Oof. That was a fight if I've ever seen one. No. We are going to have better mechanics. Yay. Mm. Do we want? Faithful companion, maybe? Resilient companion is what we want, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Let's improve Xuland. What is it? Oof. Of course. Nice and slow. Huh? Oh, with four mechanics, there should be something about this. Found something. It is not within our natures to forgive. Those who seek redemption seek a long and winding path, a road which takes us down into the very hollows of our soul and asks us to reflect upon the fractured aspects of ourselves. Whoa! We're rich now. Well? Here. I have to say I feel I feel the worst, so just say the word. No need to go in front. Leave it to me. Yes. Another one of these symbols. And only one shadow. At least now. Just say the word. Three shadows. What is it? The three th shadows should really be okay. Uh. Attack. Hmm? 
What is it? That's not very helpful. Oh, these are not shadows, it's the shade, even. Hmm. Run! God, what is that? Get up. They're picking us up! I think we're dead. Yeah, we're dead. All right, I guess uh, we'll load the auto save. Hmm. So, well, maybe this level is a little bit too hard for us. Well, let's go back first and uh, talk to the Dwarven woman on the tree. Yes. Oh. And it's dark too, so... It's just the perfect time to visit a... Uh, well? <laughs> a tree full of <laughs> corpses. <laughs> Hello, Caldara de Beranzi. The squad distended body of an elderly dwarf woman dangles from a thin, crooked bow that sacks at the tuck of her nose bloated purple flesh of her neck worn away in patches like moth-eaten linen bulges over the rope that suspends her. Her lifeless head lolls forward rigid rigidly from one side to the other and the breeze shifts. You perceive a faint glow around her that casts no light on its surroundings but there is a tepid warmth to it and you feel somehow that you could reach out and touch it, not with your hands but with some aspect of yourself has no worldly dim dimension. We want to reach out now that we're here. Take a deep breath, clearing your mind, focusing on your objective. As you exhale, you feel yourself spreading out toward the hanging woman, perceiving all that lies between you and her with new, unfamiliar awareness. Once you've expanded enough to reach her, there's a sudden, sudden jolt to your mind, a ringing electric surge of images and words and sounds. Involuntarily, you shut your eyes and feel yourself being pulled to some deeper consciousness in a space occupied only by you and the hanging woman. When you open them again, she's staring at you with eyes clouded in a milky fog, her body still swaying in a wind you no longer feel, from a tree that stands planted in a misty void. The woman gives a slow nod of her head, the rope creaking as she does so, and she smiles at you. Have you come here for me, dear? Or have you gotten lost? Ah, it is both, I think. Yes? Um, how are you able to speak to me? Is that what we're doing? Perhaps it just seems that way. Perhaps it is the easiest way for your mind to make sense of it. I think it is a very good choice. Uh... I need to understand something that's happened to me, she nods, a look of pity on her face, as though consoling a child. The world looks a little different than it used to, is that it? Feels like you're noticing things for the first time that have always been there? She nods. You have, you have seen past the shroud. It only takes an instant. 
Your soul remembers, yes? yes? Remembers how it sees when it leaves the body, like being reminded of a dream you have forgotten. You are a watcher now, and a watcher you will stay. Hmm.